So today we have Srishti with us. So Srishti, just tell me one thing, like how AI is changing the software industry nowadays. What's the impact around that? So according to me, I feel AI is good and it has both sides, like it is good and bad. So in software industry, if you look at the developers, which are young generation uh, and not the ones who have worked for f more than five to eight, ten years. So those young developers have that enthusiasm with them. So they have good brains. And what they bring into the table is business related thing more rather than development, co development. So I think AI can help generate more value for an organization because definitely using AI, they can speed up their work, they can be more productive. And um, if they are not more experienced in, the, in terms of develop, development, then I think that is beneficiary for any organization. So this is how I think AI is beneficiary for an organization for young developers while for the senior ones I think they might take some time to adapt to AI because definitely you should know how to use AI first so maybe if you give them proper training uh, and if you just give them proper licenses etc then they will also develop they will also use well AI because they have the background of development all they need to do is just use AI more frequently Thank you so much, uh, Srushti, for this greater insight because usage of AI is different by different job roles and each particular job role has its own importance of the AI in day-to-day -day routine. Yeah. So thanks a lot. Uh, second thing I would like to ask you, like, what do you think AI will really replace the human job or will it create new opportunity? What are your thoughts on that? So in terms of replacing human job, I think those people who are not, uh, who cannot easily adapt to changes, maybe they should uh, start learning new things like how to use AI, what AI is, how it can help them in being not just product, uh, more productive but also how they can use AI for their more uh, logic, uh, logical implementations etc. So I think yeah as I mentioned it can be it is a kind of dicey situation so if they are not adaptive probably they will leave uh, they would have to leave the job and if they are easy and if they can adapt to any situation like if given a chance that yeah you can use ai and you can also develop co-develop then maybe for them it is not a, a problem do you think ai will create new opportunities for the people okay so definitely as i said ai is a skill and not just inherent to it inherent for everyone so if you th uh, think about prompt engineering and responsible AI. So these all are fields where you have that learning opportunity where not just as an individual but as an organization you should create a framework so that everyone who is working and using AI knows about what AI is, how it can be used mindfully. So this is how it will definitely generate job, job opportunities for AI engineers, senior AI architects, etc. Thank you so much uh, Srishti for all of this insight. Now one last question as you are a community speaker and you uh, also host many events and uh, speaking in different part of the India. So what are your thoughts around the community? What is the important of community each individual's life and how it is impacting your career and how it is helpful to grow your career in your day-to-day uh, -day routine? If you just share your thoughts around that. So I would like to first question the first part how it is helping me. So be it in any role, job role, either you're working for a great MNC or a startup or any place. So you are just assigned one task. But if you are passionate about technology, like, okay, I like to learn about power chill agents, power automate, power platform, teams, etc. any platform, not just restricted to Microsoft, be it any, or core developers like Java, .NET, etc. So if you are keen and enthusiast, then maybe you will go outside your role, job work role, and you will spend some time there to you know do some demos create some poc or write any blog so that that is based on individual's passion if you are passionate about technology then definitely you will spend some time to either read latest news etc so this is what i do i'm passionate about technology so i ideally uh, try to share it because you know there are multiple mediums across social media but that doesn't fit uh, your requirement maybe my requirement is not just power virtual agent creating simple bots but it also has some complex logic then if i have done that work then why not share it with the community they can use it open source is the good uh, way to you know share it so that is why i do it and this is how and second question microsoft community how it is helping me so it is not like i am uh, i know everything I also sometimes go to these different social channels like Beads, Ruins channel or any social media blog or blogs of Nandeep Smita or Siddharth's Teams application, GitHub open source. So I also do refer their, their work, but I don't copy it as usual. You ha Everyone has a unique scenario. You just tweak and make those changes in that. So that is how community benefits you. It is like for everyone. If you are not aware about Nandeep Smita or you, if you don't know him, but 
eventually you are using some of the other things about them so that is how if one starts an initiative to share then probably you can be the next one if you have something unique please come up and share that knowledge so i do it either blo via blogging or speaking so you can also do it like it is not if you are working on something please go ahead and share it so that is how it benefits me Thank you so much, Rishti, for all of this wonderful answer. I know you are very active in the community and keep it this good thing. And I know sharing is caring. That's a mantra of community. And uh, I we encourage everyone to uh, be a part of the wonderful community and sharing their knowledge with uh, across the globe. Thank you so much. Thank you.